while ago, my girlfriend told me I wasn't allowed to have more than four fish tanks. She never said how big, though. So we're gonna build this. You know, ask for forgiveness, not permission. So yeah, if you see me on Bumble in a couple weeks, um, you'll know why. But anyways, let me just share this vision with you. So over the last year, I've seen a lot of desk side tanks from a lot of different people on the internet. And that brings me to this area in my room. No, no, not, not that area. Now, I myself am no stranger to the desk side tank. In fact, I've had many different iterations of the desk side tank, but they all have one thing in common. They were all small. And we're gonna change that today with something medium. No way. <laughs> That thing is massive. Wow. <laughs> Not quite the spot, but it looks pretty good and it fits. Oh, wait, I want one. So I actually saw somebody selling the tank I wanted on Facebook Marketplace and I hit him up. Next thing you know, I'm on the road into the wilderness. Okay, we've made it to the wilderness. I hope it fits in my car, can hold it, but barely. I don't know if that's coming out. This is part of my car now. Got it out, super easy. That's actually a lie. It was incredibly heavy and difficult. I used an empty box for that clip. Also, I managed to cut myself while moving it. And because this is so much bigger than I pictured in my head, uh, I decided to measure everything out this time to make sure it would fit. So the width of this tank is 19.7 inches long. This is 19.7 inches. That's pretty long. And you know what else is 19.7 inches though? The height, the height, the height of the tank. It's also... It's also that tall. Also, I managed to cut myself again. Like, what's with that? I promise I'm not clumsy, but it led me to realize measuring's a lot more dangerous than I thought it would be. Coming out with a battle scar. Let's clear out this space now. We have our empty space. Um. Definitely needs to be vacuumed though. So I was trying to come up with a vacuum pun, but um, they all kind of sucked. This is the low hanging fruit. Now we got this space empty. Next thing to do, fill it with stuff. Did it work? Looks like it worked. Looks also really unstable too. I don't know why I thought to put everything there because I immediately needed to take it all back down to start building the cabinet that was at the bottom. Oh my God, this thing's so heavy. I'm gonna get a back injury. Anyways, this is what we're gonna make first. That's sideways, so let's set just read it for you. The, oh my God, oh, that is a big ass little bug. Oh yeah, let's kill it, there we go. Oh God, it's still moving. I'm sorry, buddy. I'm sorry, I'm scared of bugs. I'm scared of bugs. Uh, not scared of fish though. And with the bug out of the way, we're safe to build the stand. Or so I thought. I don't, I don't know. I just thought the clip needed some suspense. Anyway, building the cabinet was mostly just screwing things in, fitting things together, and pretty much all the clips were just up my butt. So take it in, because I'm gonna start charging for this soon. We did it guys. Look at that. Hey, hey. Oh, I need to still figure that part out. Now we're done. <laughs> with the stand ready, the next step is to put the tank up, but we actually have something to do first, and it has to do with this little tank. For those of you guys that don't know, this is called a sump. It's defined by Google as the base of an internal combustion engine. With, with... This isn't right, actually. Um, Let me just tell you. So you see, this is a sump. It's a tank that goes beneath the tank, and it's made up of multiple chambers where you can do all of your water filtration out of sight before pumping that water back up to your display tank. It's actually super convenient. But yeah, there we go. There you go, you guys. We did it, completed, check it out. Look at that, looks good. I'm not even looking, and I know it looks good. Now I'm looking. Actually, give me a second. There we go. We got the aquarium up top. Now it's complete. At least until tomorrow, when we'll put the actual tank on. But right now I'm tired. 
and it's late. So I'm gonna go to the gym. And I'll see you guys tomorrow. Well, hey, it's a new day. Or, well, it's actually, it's, it's 2 p.m. It's 2 p.m. I added in those bird sound effects because I thought they sounded nice. Let's just get that tank up there. All right, if you know how to actually install a tank, um, let me know the proper way to do this, but I'm just gonna um, hope and pray. There's no way this can go wrong. All right, there are so many things that could go wrong here. But thankfully, none of them did. Yeah, that was actually it. Pretty uneventful. Can't tell me that doesn't look good. Yet, yeah, as good as it looks, and even with the tank sump and stand in place, there's still one more thing that we needed to take care of before we could consider adding water. Why, hello there. Let's do plumbing. The plumbing was definitely the hardest part. They had instructions that came with the water box, but they were old, and I had no idea what parts were what. This one's not even labeled. DNI, don't know what that stands for. ANSI, ANSI. I'm getting kind of antsy trying to figure this out. <laughs> But you know, I'm a visual learner, so I looked up Waterbox's video on how to do their plumbing, and that was also old, so I ended up getting incredibly frustrated. Well, I'm already confused. This is actually real-time footage of me just losing all semblance of my sanity that I had. But eventually I did figure it out. We got the plumbing, finally. Thank God there was someone on YouTube who has done this already. Also, I learned ANSI. It's for if you want to use hard plumbing. So we didn't even need it. And with everything laid out correctly, the last thing to do was just screw it all in place. And we now have a completed fish tank. I mean, mo we're still missing all the other inside stuff, but like it's, it's mostly completed. So if you want to see all that inside stuff and also see me cut myself again, you should hit that subscribe button. Hit that subscribe button.